Hi, I'm Jim from OrangeCountyAutosports.com. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to replace your front brake pads and rotors and rear brake pads and rotors. The rotors are slotted and drilled. This allows your brakes to breathe, it reduces the heat, and it takes the dust out of the uh, brake rotor so you don't get squeaking. Zinc plated. They're also zinc plated. Sorry, said that. One of the other things that you may want to do is on the brake pad itself, you might want to put this quiet, um, quiet pad on the pads themselves so the uh, brakes will not squeak no matter what. Okay, so we're going to get started here. The first thing is to put the car, secure the car, make sure that it's up in the air and it's secure that you can work on it and nothing will uh, hurt you or fall off the jack stands. You need to have the car in neutral with the key. You're not going to be able to take the key out of the car. You're going to have to leave the key in. Now the car will be off. Lift the hood and pull the brake uh, reservoir uh, cap so the pressure will be released when I pull the pistons back. And I'll talk more about that when we get into it. I've already taken the wheels off and we're going to proceed to change the brake pads and rotors. The reason that you want to leave the car in neutral and the key in is so that you can have the capability of being able to move your front wheels so you have a better working capability here. Proceed to take off the caliper. This is the rotor. This is the caliper. We're going to remove the caliper. These are the pins. Pins leave all your parts on the side here so you don't get confused. Some of these pins are different sizes, so you need to make sure you put them in the right positions. Once you pull the caliper off, there's a piston inside that pushes the brake pads against the rotor, this piston here. You need a special tool to allow you to push that piston back, and I'll show you what that is right now. Take an old brake pad, insert it on the piston. This is the piston retractor. This is the reason that you want to take off the cap off of your brake cylinder. Now this is going to push the fluid back up into the cylinder. And you keep on turning it until it won't go any longer. It's all the way back, so your new brake pads and new rotor will fit on there. Okay. Put that to the side. Now, you need to, to get the rotor off, you need to take off this caliper holder. 
So we have And that's the caliper hole. The next thing you have to do is you have to take off the rotor. Some rotors just are not screwed in, like this one is screwed in. To use a standard screwdriver is not um, a good idea. You need a hammer screwdriver, and I'll show you what that looks like. Basically, this is a hammer screwdriver. All you do there. That loosens the screw. This particular model has two screws in it. Some only have one, some have Ellen's, some don't have any at all. If you strip the screw, it's very difficult to replace it. Okay, there's the old rotor. The new rotors are also directional. So when you receive your rotor, the slot and drill should be going down towards the way the car drives. Okay. Make sure you line up the holes. So you can put the screws back in. Can you use your screwdriver driver? They're also zinc plated uh, silver or black to keep the uh, to make them last a lot longer and keep the rust and uh, any type of corrosion off your rotors. Buy any of these rotors, go to www.ocautosports.com. That's with an S, autosports.com. Okay, we got the rotor on. Make sure it's clean. Also, the zinc plating makes it last a lot, lot longer. Turn your wheel so it's easier to work on. Put your caliper holder back in. 